How would I see all the issues assigned to myself across many different projects? Well, let's find out. My name is Anatoly, you're watching Define Agile, and today we're talking about filters again, we're talking about dashboards, we're talking about, we're talking about convenience and effectiveness, how to see all the issues assigned to me so I can at a glance know what's assigned, what I have to work on. Yeah, there are many ways it can be done. On a project level, you can use quick filters, but what if I'm part of five different projects? I wanna see all the issues assigned to me across all projects. And for that, we'll be using filters. This is Jira UI, we need to go to filters. We need to go to advanced issues search. And this is a very neat thing. You can do it both ways. You can switch to JQL, which I prefer and do it in a query language, or if you're new, and it's a pretty easy thing. So that's why you can easily do it using the existing UI. So you have all the projects, all the types, you have all the statuses, and you have all the assignees. So first of all, assignee is current user, myself. So I can already see everything that is assigned to me. Then I can have a status and I can choose a status if I want to. Or if I'm more advanced user, I can switch to JQL, assignee in current user, and resolution is empty, which means it's not resolved yet. So let's search now. Show me less things, but they all are in a certain uh, status not done. So here's how you can combine the two. You can start on a switch to basic, but then if you need to add something, you can do it that way as well. So now I want to save it because I want to have it. So all issues, all my issues, submit. Here you go. Importantly, if you click on details, you'll see that uh, this filter is visible to only to myself. So nobody else can view it. If you wanna share it with your team or whoever, you can always edit permissions and make it public. Click add, filter will be public. So anyone can use this filter. It will appear on dashboards of other people or anywhere else. So here you go. So now if you are just in Jira, let's go back to where we were. So we started with this. And now if I wanna see all issues assigned to myself, I don't have to go to any projects. I go to filter, all my issues, and I can see it right away. Very, very neat. Or if you're a kind of guy who likes to do some data massaging, you can also create a dashboard. Let's create a dashboard with all issues assigned to yourself and have some analytics around it. So dashboards, create dashboard, my issues, save. It will be a private to myself. Now we can add gadgets. So let's add a new gadget. And we wanna find, let's click load all gadgets. And we wanna find, and we wanna find statistics. So issue statistics. Add gadget. Now, so you can use filter or project. I want to use filter. All my issues. If I scroll down, all my issues. Done. So now, I, I want to update every 15 minutes. Uh, show resolved issue statistics. Yes, I want to show everything because I filter everything myself. And then assignee type, uh, statistic type assignee. Well, I don't need assignee. I can uh, make do statistic on it on, let's say, status. I wanna see how many of them are in certain status, for example. And I save. So now I can see how many issues I have in progress, in to do, peer review, will not fix, and waiting for support. So this is very, very neat. It shows me that 55% are to do. So why are to do's assigned to myself? Maybe I need to go in and assign them. Or PO review, something in PO review assigned to myself. I'm not a PO, let me check it out 
and CSIS at a glance gives you a really, really good statistics on your issue. You want to create another gadget? Let's do it. The other one we're going to create is called filter results. So let's add this one. Save filter all my issues. So then I want to see issue type, key, summary, and priority. Let's leave it at that. And here I go. I can see all the issues here. This is statistics. Those are the issues assigned to myself in a nice way. I want to change something. Maybe I don't like the priority. I want to add status. Save that. Here we go. I have everything at a glance for myself. So then can use this dashboard and I can see everything using the filter across every single project. I hope you understand how powerful it is. You don't have to look for your issues anymore. They're all right here. They're very well organized. There are more gadgets you can use to do that. So hope it helps. If you have any more questions, please put them in the comments down below. If you think this video brought you value, and I hope it did, please like and subscribe because this is how I can spread this video to more and more people. If you're struggling and you think this is all way over my head, I want somebody to teach me one-on-one, -on -one, go to a link below. There's a link to my calendar. You can book a session with me for an hour or you can book multiple ones. We will sit down and I will walk you through Agile, Jira, answer all your questions. We'll build everything together. If you want my team to help you with Jira on a basis of support, go to defineagile.com, let's schedule a consultation, talk about that. And finally, if you want to learn Jira in a single day and you're a beginner, go to the link down below because there's a course. It's very, very cheap. I just dropped the price 90% due to COVID. So please get the course and you will learn the basics of Jira there. I think it covered everything. So... Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.